A Brazilian falls in love with a girl and spends his evenings peering through his binoculars to see her. Hi friends! Welcome back to a new amazing video from Rolling Movie Recaps. Today I'm going to recap a 2003 drama and romance film titled The Man Who Copied. Spoiler warning, watch out and take care. In the start of the movie, you'll see a man, his name's Andre. He was at a market to shop some necessary stuff. He had a total of $11.50 and he selected items that were more money than he had. So he excludes meat from his grocery items because he needs the matches. Then he went to the street and burnt $50 currency. His father called him Andre, but his mother called him Zeno. Later on, his father also agreed to call him Zeno. His father left him when he was four. He lived in Porto Alegre in the south of Brazil. He lived in a street that was named after the U.S. president. By profession, he's a photocopy operator. From his bedroom window, he can see the club named The Gondoliers. His boss is continuously watching him through his mirror at work. His name is Mr. Gomide. In starting in the movie, he's given his introduction, then his boss and his boring life. He was doing it to earn money, but he was quite unhappy with his routine and boring work. When he was not working, he stayed at home and works with illustrations. He started to see schemes how to earn money when he puts photocopier machine to other uses. He said he'd never met a girl who admired to live with or spend life with a photocopy operator. He spends his evenings looking at a girl through his binoculars who is living opposite to his house. She lives with her father. Later on in the movie, he described the girl's bedroom and its ambiance. He can see her bedroom through a mirror that's attached to her wardrobe door. He earned minimum wage, $302 per month. He never spent his money on a transport and never goes out. His mother bought food and he paid half rent. His house had two bedrooms and a very small maid room, and it cost $380, including fees. After that, he's left with only $100, from which he paid half of the TV installments. Then he had a total of $68, with which he spent on silly things like a magazine, beer, pens, and clothes. To buy his binoculars, he had to save for one year. He read most of the stuff that he photocopied. Later on in the movie, he described a girl whose name is Marinas. She was working in the same shop. She sold magazines, pencils, erasers, glue. She was hot and wearing a tight dress. She had a German boyfriend who wrote to her twice. He's in Germany but lives in Holland. Andre was thrown out of school because he hit a boy who went blind in one eye. He falls in love with a girl named Sylvia. When he first saw her, first time, she was in pajamas, having breakfast. He started to watch her daily. He knows about her routine. One day, Andre decided to find out where Sylvia worked. He followed her on a bus. Then she went into a shop that was still closed. So Andre thought she was working there. Andre then returned back to his work. He wants to be rich as fast as possible. But the problem is, how? He read at his work that a guy who drew some puppets on a wall became rich. So he sent a story of One-Eyed Zack and Granny Doctrine to a magazine. He drawed the story, then he stayed at home. The magazine never answered him. Then one day, he sent a story with a letter in which he asked for an answer or requested to get his story back. He wrote that other magazines want his story. His friend Fiozza called Andre a wimp and a sucker. Fiozza asked many times to leave his work and join him, but Andre did not want to because his friend is crazy and went to jail many times. Fiozza carried guns with him. Andre believed that if you rob every day, you'll get caught. If you want to rob, then rob a bank. One day, he went to a shop where Sylvia was working. The shop name was on her, too. She sells clothes. He tries to get closer to her, but he can't afford it. So he goes to her shop to buy something. He talked to her, and he showed that he was here to buy a gift for his mother. But he learned back because he had no money. He went to another day just to meet Sylvia. He was to invite her for a beer in his friend's cafe, but cannot invite her. So he gave her a free pass to a co-worker, Marina's. She came along with her friend Cardoso. Cardoso worked with antiques. Then he met her in a bus where he told her that he'll come to buy a gift robe for his mother in the coming week, but he did not have enough money, so he thought to borrow it from Cardoso. He went to him, then Andre came to know that Cardoso worked with old junk, not with antique ones. Then they went to a coffee shop where Andre told him about his problem. Cardoso lent him an old junk guardian angel, cost him $10, and told him to gift this to his mother. One day, his owner, Blob, bought a colored photocopy machine. He gave Andre to submit his bill in the bank. Andre had an idea. 
he printed a $50 banknote by a colored photocopy machine. It took him five hours to know how to print them. He then changed the fake note to a real one and submits his owner's bill with a fake one. He then went for a lottery where he invested $9 with a fake note of $50 and gets the change in real money. Then he went to a shop where Sylvia worked. He bought the robe there. He went daily to a place where she ate in a lunch bank. He lends her a comic book. She wanted him to draw something for him. He asked her what she wanted. She replied something that's nice to look at. Next day, she returned him a comic book and he gifted her drawing. He drew a bedroom almost same to hers. She liked it a lot. She told him that she'll take it as a birthday gift. Andre went to Cardoso's shop to buy something special for Sylvia. Cardoso played a little prank with Andre. Then Cardoso came to know that Andre made a copy of a real note. So they both made a fake copy of $50 and made money with them. Andre gifted roller blinds to Sylvia for her room. It took her a whole week to put up the blinds. One day he saw that when Sylvia took a shower, her dad came and took some money from her purse. Her dad also watched her while taking a bath from the doorknob. He went to her flat but came back without saying anything. He told his friend Cardoso about the entire scene. Cardoso first gave him the idea to tell Sylvia that her father was a pervert. But they realized that Sylvia might not like it, so Cardoso told him to make real money and marry her. He told Cardoso that he knows how to make it. He drew a map of a bank that's in front of his house. He knew each and everything because he saw daily what's going on there through his binoculars. Then he went to Sylvia the next day and told her that he had to go to Rio for some work. He said it would take a maximum six months to get his work done. She became sad to know this. She said she wanted to go there. He offered her to come vacations there. Then she gifted him a Shakespearean poem, which he once read during his photocopying time. She explained about the poem. Both became sad. Then Andre asked her to wait for him. She said yes, she'd wait for him. He then proposed to her. He asked her to get away from here with him. She agreed happily. Then they both hugged each other. They both got emotional while hugging each other. She said to take care of him. She'll wait longer, too, if she had to. Now the movie's turning into a suspense one. Andre went to his friend Fiozza. Andre bought a gun from him. He didn't touch the gun. He held the gun with a bag. Cardoso and Andre met at a place where Cardoso told him about his conditions. Andre told him about his plan. Andre said to him, bring a car and wait for him. Andre then saw through his binoculars that Sylvia's father did the same action. Money is only paper that people believe is worth anything. If nobody believes it, it's useless. Next day, first, he went to a shop where he talked to a guy. Then he attacked the cops. He locked both the cops. But one cop who was appointed at the bank's door, he removed Andre's face mask. Andre shot him in his foot and ran away. He got scared and his gun dropped by his hand. Andre then ran away with Cardoso. Then they read a headline in the newspaper about Fiozza, and he was arrested in exchange of a fake $50 bill note. Luckily, a picture that was displayed in the newspaper in search of a bank robbery was not similar to Andre. While reading, they came to know that they were both the winner of a lottery prize for $4 million. First, they celebrated, but then they got emotional. Andre was upset because he can't go claim the prize, because when his picture will print in the newspaper, he'll be arrested by police in case of the bank robbery. So Cardoso gave him an idea that he should use someone else to claim the money, to whom he trusted a lot, and that person may take care of the money. So Andre gave his lottery ticket to Marinas. They told him about everything. They shared the money. They went for shopping and bought everything they wanted. Cardoso bought his dream car. Marinas and Cardoso then had some intimate moments with each other in a luxury suite of a hotel. Andre went to Sylvia. Sylvia said her father would not be agreeing on their marriage. When Andre met Sylvia's father, he got scared. Sylvia's father was one that was shot by Andre during a bank robbery. When Andre left, Fiozza grabbed him and demanded money from him. Sylvia met to Andre and said to him that she knows everything he had done. She told her that her father was not a good man. They both made a plan to kill Sylvia's father. His friend Fiozza died in greed of money. They went to Cardoso and Marina's and told them about their plan. They all set up a plot to make sure that her father will die. They put a bomb in a fridge and they also put some money. Sylvia's father died due to the explosion as a result of a gas leakage in the fridge. Then they all went to Rio. But here's the twist that takes place. Throughout the movie, we all thought that it was Andre who fell in love with Sylvia, but in the end you come to know that it's Sylvia who fell in love with Andre. She wrote a letter to her mother's friend who lived in Rio and told him about everything. She asked him to meet them in Rio so she can tell them the remaining side of the story. 
She also disclosed about her dark side of her father. Sylvia said that she's the one who chose Andre to go with her to Rio. She knows that he followed her and saw her through his binoculars daily, but she never showed him that she knew anything. They all lived happily. We hope you enjoyed our video today. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to receive daily notifications of new and interesting videos.